Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create consistent characters, and I'm going to show you how to make it even if you want it to look like a celebrity, or if you have an image of yourself. You can not only create consistent characters, you can create them based on certain people, yourself included. I know you've probably heard this before, but this is absolutely crazy. I'm going to show you examples to start, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So here's some first step here. I'm just going to see, you'll see I've got Elon Musk on the left, Taylor Swift on the right, and we're going to go with Taylor Swift. First thing I did is I created some steampunk females looking at the camera. I click on it, and I like this bottom left one. So that's the style I'm going to go with, and then I ran a couple. So here's just a few examples. I just ran them. And then I picked ones that were good out of each of them. So this was a good one, this was a good one, this was a good one, and this was a good one. Now I realize the faces are not quite consistent yet. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you some magic. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you quick, and then I'm gonna show you step by step. So watch this. I'm just gonna right click on this image. This is how good this is. I'm gonna go to the app, and I'm gonna in swap that image. And while that one processes, I'm gonna right click on her face, and I'm gonna in swap her. And then I'm gonna go to the third one here. I'm gonna right click on her face and I'm gonna in swap her. And then I'm gonna click on the final one. I'm gonna right click on her face and I'm gonna in swap her. Now, watch this. Remember the original images? This is just a standard stock steampunky image. Look at this. Tell me, and, and be honest with me, if this isn't the, what you wanna see. So here we go. Here's the first one. That looks a lot like Taylor Swift, but again, we're going for consistency. Does look like her though. That does look like Taylor Swift as well, running away. Holy smokes, these are pretty consistent. Let's click on this one. Wow, that looks like that looks like her too. And for final effect, that looks like her too. So this is the best and best way to make consistent swaps and consistent faces in Mid Journey. Now I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. All right, welcome back. So if these didn't con if these didn't convince you, I don't know what's going to. But anyways, let's create some consistent characters, and in this one, we're going to use Elon Musk, but before we get started, we have some housekeeping to do, so let's go through it step by step. On the left side in Discord, you need to go to the bottom for your first step, and you got to click on this plus sign to add a server. We're going to create our own server that are going to have both bots in it. So I've clicked on the plus sign, I click on create my own, it's for me and my friends, I don't have friends, but if I did, they would be invited, and in this one, I'm just going to call this one Consistent Elon, so we're going to use Elon Musk. As a warrior, let's go. I'm gonna click on create and presto. Now, let's go to the top and you're gonna see that I've got a new consistent Elon server. There I am as the only person in it. The next step is you wanna to go to the left side here and we're gonna look for the mid journey bots or the mid journey server. So you'll see this little uh, sailboat. That's what we want. Click on the sailboat and then when you do that, you're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna be a little overwhelming, don't worry. All you got to do is go to the right side here and you'll see mid journey bot left click on that and then you can see add to server we're going to add this bot to the server so just go ahead and accept that and then select a server this is where it gets fun you just click on the drop down and then find the server that you just created so the one i just made is called consistent elon and i'm going to go ahead and add to consistent elon and i'm going to let it do its thing because i trust it okay good all right captcha i am human there we go. So here we go. Now, let's go back into that server, see where we're at. Okay, consistent Elon. Okay, job done. Midjourney bot is in there, but we've got one more step to go. All right, the next step is a good one. All you need to do is click on this link below. Now, I can't really, uh, well, you can't really click on my video, obviously, but I'm going to put the link in the description, in the YouTube description. So you can just go into my description, copy and paste it. So I'm just going to click on it, and presto, it's now going to ask me to install insight face this is open source free software please keep that in mind this is no charge on any of this so here we go i'm going to go ahead and accept that and i'm going to select my server i'm also going to add it to consistent oh that's not the right one i'm going to add it to consistent elon pardon me and then i'm going to click continue i'm going to go ahead and let it do its thing and then i'm going to authorize it again capturing me i am a human i swear to god and bang authorize let's take a look at this up here on the top right We've got Insight Face Swap, and we've got Mid Journey Bot. Now, let's get to the next step. All right, so let's go to the next step. Now, there are two ways to do this. 
There's a quick and easy way, and that's if you only want to do it with one face or with one person. So if you want a consistent character of you or of a celebrity or of someone you found on the internet, this is the first way, is the easiest way. And then I'm gonna show you a second way, which has a little bit more to it, but they're both quite easy. So what you wanna do is go forward slash save ID. This is a new command that's enabled by adding insight face swap. And then I'm gonna hit enter. When I do that, you see two things. We can drag and drop an image. So this is going to be the consistent face that we're going for. So this is what we're going for. And then we're gonna, you see it says ID name, so we can name it. I'm gonna go to my finder. And in this case, we're going with Elon Musk. And I've got a good picture of him just staring at the camera and I'm gonna drag and drop it and presto. I'm now going to call this Elon Elon one, just so that in case I have any other ones. So there we go, I've ID named it Elon one. I hit enter. Now watch this, ID name Elon one created. Now let's go ahead and generate some warriors and then I'm gonna show you how to face swap on. So here we go. I'm gonna go forward slash imagine and I'm gonna go Nordic male warrior looking mean, I don't know, portrait cause I want it to be a pretty close shot. Portrait shot, um, looking at camera, and then hit enter. I'm gonna run this, and when it's done, I'm gonna come back and show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So it ran it, and here are four candidate images. These are all fantastic images, as Mid Journey does, but I'm gonna go with the second one, cause the head and the face is the largest in it, and I just wanna show you the technique. I don't need to show you how to, you know, do dialing it in uh, with, with you know, exact colors and all that stuff. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna upsample or upscale the second one here. Click on that, presto. It should be done in a few seconds. And now we've got ourselves an image. I'm gonna right click on the image and I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'm gonna call this one, well, I'm just gonna call this, uh, there we go, I'm gonna call it Nordic, oops, Nordic one. Okay, good. So I just have an extra copy just in case I mess it up and something goes wrong. Now watch this. I'm going to right click on the image. I'm going to go to apps. I'm going to go to in swapper and watch what happens. That is Elon Musk as a Nordic warrior. Now we want to create consistent images, right? That's kind of what we're doing. I showed you how to do the face swap. Now we want to have this this warrior with Elon's face doing things, uh, you know, different things like reading a book and holding a sword and sitting on a rock and all that stuff. So let me show you the next step. All right. So the next step is I'm going to go back to my finder or my explorer and I'm going to grab this Nordic one image and I'm just going to drag and drop it in and hit enter. When I do that, I'm now going to right click on his face and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that link. This is a very important part because now I'm gonna start making uh, examples using that image as its base. So here we go. I'm gonna go forward slash imagine and then watch this. I'm gonna command V or control V and copy that link in. Then I'm gonna hit space bar and I'm gonna say uh, holding a sword and then well, watch this. I'll come back when it's done and then we'll go through a whole bunch of examples quickly. All right, everybody. So now let's see what we got. Here's the original image. Keep that in mind. This is what it looks like to start. Now, based on that technique I showed you, let's see the four candidate images. This top left one looks really, really good. The bottom right one looks really, really good, but his sword appears to be broken in half. So that's kind of weird. And then this bottom left one's good, but a lot of his face is not showing. Keep in mind that that doesn't matter too much because we're gonna go ahead and swap in Elon's face. But for this one, I'm gonna use the top left one. I'm going to upscale it. Now it's gonna go very quickly. And again, remember, we're creating consistent characters. So here's the face. Here's the original, a little closer. This one's, the camera's a little further back. Oh, maybe I did, maybe his sword's broken in that one too. Well, whatever, I, you can't win them all. I'm gonna right click on this face here. I'm gonna go to apps, and then I'm gonna go to in swapper. And this is going to make Elon Musk the e with the little, okay, all right, he's got sword envy. Okay, that's not really a sword, that's more like a, a little dagger or something like that. But that is how you create consistent characters. Now, let's go ahead and do another one. So I'm gonna show you another technique, forward slash imagine. I'm gonna copy and paste in that image or that image link like we did last time. But this time, we're gonna go ahead and take the whole thing here, Nordic male looking mean, uh, we, let's just go with Nordic male 
looking mean, portrait shot, looking at camera. So we're going to take the original, the entire original prompt. I'm going to copy that in, and then I'm going to be like uh, fighting a dragon. Okay, it, this may or may not work as good as the other version, but I want to show you both. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to come back when it's done. Alrighty, welcome back. So here we go. Uh, so you know what? Great images, but again, I think the camera is a little too close for this type of image when you're fighting a dragon. So again, I'm going to go ahead and upscale one of these. I think that the, I think the bottom, top right one actually looks the closest. I'll upscale it. I'm going to apply the same technique to it. And then I'm going to show you another one. We're going to have him reading a book. So let's go to apps, in swapper, and presto, we're going to have Elon Musk as another Nordic warrior. Okay, let's go ahead and run another one. So I'm going to go forward slash imagine. And then this one, maybe we're going to go with, um, uh, I'm going to copy and paste in the link. So let's go ahead and grab that original image link. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to copy that link. And then we're going to have this one. Uh, we're going to have, well, it's not a close up shot. Let's go with long shot fighting a bear and hit enter. Come back, see what this one comes up with. All right, everybody, welcome back. So here's what it came up with. Uh, you know what? Not too bad. The top left one's pretty good. The bottom left one's pretty good, but I, I, his face looks a little too narrow in that one. So again, the face isn't the most important part, but if it doesn't look structurally the same, uh, not so good. So I'm going to upscale or up, uh, yeah, I'm gonna upscale the first one. So I'm gonna click on up, uh, upscale here, the U1. And also note, for those of you that have really keen eyes, I had to switch it from portrait shot to wide shot because portrait shot was too f up close and personal. So here we go. Let's click on this. So here's another image. Now, what do we do if we want that to be Elon Musk? Look at that dragon in the background. It's like some sort of dog dragon, whatever. Let's go ahead, right click on it, apps in swapper. Here we go, this is going to Elon Musk it, and again, consistent characters, although he does look a little cross-eyed in this one. Oh well, what are you gonna do? So now, let me show you the final technique to do consistent characters. Okay, so the final technique is you can go forward slash save ID, and we've already got an Elon Musk version, right? So let's say we wanted a Taylor Swift one as well. So we wanna be able to swap in multiple characters. So we want consistent faces, but we also want to be able to, you know, mix in some different people. So I'm going to drag and drop Taylor Swift in there, and I'm going to call her Taylor just like that. So what's happening now is we're creating an ID named Taylor. So if we go forward slash list ID, you're going to see here, I'm going to hit enter, and you're going to see that we have a Taylor and an Elon one. So let's go ahead and keep going. All right, awesome. So we're going to go ahead now, and I'm going to show you how to do Taylor Swift versions. But instead of creating the images in Mid Journey and using Insight, Insight Face Swap inside the app here, I'm going to show you another technique. I'm going to go to my Finder. I'm going to drag and drop in images that I've already created. I'm going to now hit Enter. So I'll just show you the image. Okay, so that's the image. Now, I want a consistent character out of her. Watch this. I'm going to go forward slash Swap ID. And that's why we created the second ID, Taylor. Now I hit Enter. And here we go. We can drop in an image and then we can, and then we'll, we'll watch this. I'm going to drop in this image right here and then I can select the ID name that I want to use. So I want to use Taylor. Watch this. I'm going to hit enter. This is crazy. This is Taylor Swift pretty much perfectly. But how do we create consistent character? Well, let's drag in another image that I liked. Here's the same kind of style of image. I'm going to drag and drop this one in. I'm going to hit enter so you can see it. Okay, we've got another style. Maybe this girl's doing diesel punk. But, you know, we want to have this one set up as Taylor Swift. Well, what do we do? Forward slash swap ID. Hit enter. Now I'm going to grab that same image, drag and drop it in there, type in Taylor, and presto. You'll see. Do we have the same style? Come on. That's Taylor Swift, guys. I'm sorry to say it, but that's pretty bloody incredible now let's do one more just for effect i'm going to go ahead and type in forward slash swap id and then you know the drill i'm going to drag in this last one here put that here i'm going to use the word taylor and hit enter and then i don't think that's the oh it's the same one i used at the beginning ah uh, never mind anyways let's do actually let's do one more forward slash swap id final one i think it's this one that i haven't used i'm going to put that in there and then i'm going to type in taylor and then Bang, we have a consistent character 
if there ever was one. This is the way, guys. Thanks for watching.